I want to congratulate Dale Mortensen not only for shining a spotlight on all of us lucky enough to be on the faculty here at Northwestern, but also for being an unbelievably good sport about the whole thing. So Dale was at the pep rally on Friday night, and then he and Bev and, and assorted uh, children and other relatives all got in the car and on it said Nobel Prize winner, so that was great. And then Saturday morning, the highlight of the game, and I mean the highlight of that game, <laughs> was uh, early in the first quarter when Dale and Bev and the whole family went out there. We got to honor them in the north part of the end zone. And it's not just when you have a faculty member winning a Nobel Prize, but when you have a faculty member who personifies not just excellence in research and teaching, but an incredible loyalty to Northwestern University. Uh, it makes it even more meaningful. Dale Weinberg College is very honored to have been your home since 1965. So few teachers, even great teachers, ever really get to know all the ways in which they affect their students. But we are so fortunate to be with you as you witness the impact you have had on your department, on our college, on our university, and indeed on the entire world. So congrats to you. This work on search frictions for which the Nobel Committee cites Dale is an extremely unlikely path for somebody who seems to have searched for a job just once in his life. <laughs> Staying at Northwestern his entire career, nor to have created any significant frictions along the way, being commonly described as among the most intuitive and sensible of scholars. Over the past several days, I've listened to or read about Dale's encounters with the press corps, who keep badgering him to describe his scientific contribution in layman's terms. How can we capture your contribution in a pithy aphorism? I've done quite a bit of thinking about this problem <laughs> and concluded that your work is too complex to be summarized <laughs> in just one adage. So here's what I think you should tell uh, questioners from now on. You showed that, first, one should leave no stone unturned. <laughs> but in doing so, one has to bear in mind that, and this is the second part, a bird in the hand is worth <laughs> We've already had this joke about my being here so long. Uh, the way I tell it is that uh, you know, I've been married for, uh, to the same woman for over 45 years, and I've had the same job for 45 years, so one of the goals in my research was trying to figure out what everyone else was doing. <laughs> when I think about Dale's path from coming to Northwestern in 1965 to a Nobel in 2010, there's only one thing from his own work that makes sense of it all. It must have been a perfect match.